Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 15, and this is war number 8, and we're going up against an alliance called Fantastic Four Players. We fought them before, they're good fighters, they have a strong defense. Um, I don't know about their name. Is it Fantastic Four, as in they like the Fantastic Four and they're players that like the Fantastic Four, or this alliance is fantastic for players? Let me know in the comments below if you're from this alliance, which one it is. Anyway, I scouted out my path and also discussed it with my alliance mates and decided to bring in this team. No Gladiator Hulk. As you can see, there's no Defender on that first node. Since AQ is down, I was able to bring in Corvus. I brought in Proxima so that I could get a True Strike for some later fights. And Omega Red... I'm starting to bring into Alliance War a little bit more. He can take this mini here, which I normally don't take. So for this fight, it's a kingpin. I'm not going to get any charges, but I decided to go ahead and use my Corvus anyway. Could have used Omega Red, but I wanted to save my Omega Red for that mini. And Proxima is pretty much there just for the synergies. I won't be able to use this team all the time, but since uh, AQ is down, I wanted to take advantage and bring in my boy Corvus. And as you can see, he's slicing and dicing, just chopping down this kingpin and boom, over with, done. Didn't lose a lot of health at all. Remember that Corvus doesn't take damage from bleeds and since I'm running suicides, I have double edge ticking away and since I have willpower, I'm healing up. All right. So now uh, when I was talking to my alliance mate, he wasn't going to be able to take this havoc because he wasn't able to incinerate him. I forget who he brought in, uh, but Shap here could have taken him with his Namor or tried. But I said, let me try with Omega Red. This is the first time. I am going to be fighting Havoc with Omega Red and especially on Psychic Thorns. So I'm like, oh boy. And then you have the defense tactics Siphon. All right. And Havoc is a tricky, tricky opponent. Uh, he's very difficult to uh, parry. If you know how to do the reparry, uh, you can do it like basically you try to parry you're gonna miss that first one But then you let up and then whole block very quickly afterwards and you'll get the parry It's dangerous and I need to practice that a little bit more All right, so I'm going in here and I'm looking at the health going down. I'm like, okay, this is Doing well here. I fired off a heavy All right, and we're doing good All right, I'm doing aggressiveness uh, You know my normal style and then look at this. What was that? That threw my entire game off. Now he's close to a special three. I've got to bait it out. All right, baited it out. But now he doesn't have a lot of uh, the spores on him. So that means that I'm getting all of those plasma charges on me. Look at him just ticking away. And so boom, plasma detonate just before I could take him out. I was so salty about that, but that happens. It's rare, but that resist is because my opponent had the stand your ground mastery and it's a very small chance for that to trigger. You don't usually see it, but this is me and this is Alliance War. So that kind of threw me off. I started playing far more passively, wasn't maintaining the spores on him, which allowed him to build up those plasma charges on me detonated but i still took him down all right um i wasn't happy about that fight let me tell you i wanted to use omega red you know more than one fight but we got him down so again in section two no defender on that first node and of course when i saw sunspot there was nobody else i was going to use except my corvus he's going to get a charge off of this so of course I'm gonna use him. 
Um, he's perfect for this node. He's not going to put any debuffs on him. So we're all good. All right, so here we go. And we're doing a medium light medium attack. We don't have to technically, but the medium light medium is a good rotation for most situations. All right, now here I pushed him to a special three because I knew I was gonna finish him off with a special two. And even if I didn't finish him off with a special two, Corvus has a little power drain on that special two. So it would have drained him away from that special three and I would have then just baited out his special two if I had not been able to take him down. All right, so this guy here, I was also planning to take out with Omega Red, but he's hurt now. And my alliance mate said, well, just let me know when you clear your path, I'm gonna boost up and take out all three of those guys. Or, um, well, he's gonna take, he's gonna clear his path, then take out Corvus and then take out the next guy. All right, so now we're in the final section. I'm about to go out for a birthday dinner. So I'm not gonna be here for the end of the war. So I decided to go ahead and clear a path. Now to the right was a Mordo and a Killmonger. And I was gonna take Corvus against both of those, but that Mordo caused me a little bit of concern. He was gonna be stun immune, it was that breakaway, and I wasn't quite sure if I would be able to get him down. You know, with Proxima, once he did his auto block, I'd be able to get the true strike up, maybe, but he's tricky to get that heavy off of, you know? So I said, you know what, let me not do that. I'm still gonna boost up. Now I chose that 12% cosmic boost because I had one expiring, but turns out it had already expired. Poor me, but I'll get another one. I don't use boost anywhere else but Alliance War. Now, this girl here, this very fun opponent here, you're gonna see she's very aggressive. She's aggressive like Venom. Now watch this, I wanna bait out her special one, right? But look at this, I'm having to dash back and then she catches me. But I had that indestructible, so that helped me out. And I really hate that. You know, this Captain Marvel movie version is so aggressive. All right, so here we go. And I did that on purpose. I knew she was gonna do that. You'll notice that I swung and then immediately evaded because the AI now will intercept you. So it's a way to kind of bait it out, but you have to be quick. So you have to attack and immediately evade. And sure enough, she fired it off. I was able to just go ahead and block because I do not know how to evade her special two um, at this point in time. And I wasn't gonna practice here. Uh, so I just blocked it, I survived, and that's good enough for Corvus. Now this fight, many times I have heard that she is a great defender, uh, but Corvus is very good against her, all right? So here I am going in, you know, she's got that shield up, so I'm like, wow, not a whole lot of damage here, all right? But here we go, now we're starting to do some damage, all right? And I can evade all of her specials. Except one, this one here. I actually didn't mean to do this. And when I did this, I went, oh no. Oh, I don't believe I did that. And then I went, oh wait, my invulnerability boost is still going. Yeah, I totally meant to do that. Yeah, yeah. It was all part of the plan. All right, so boom, hit her with that special two. All right, she went invisible. We need to get her out of that. Okay, she's got out of that. And this time I'm being very careful. All right, there we go. Bait out her specials. And we're just slow playing it. And down she goes. Now, I told my alliance that I was not gonna be there for the ending of the war. So I thought this was my last fight of the war. But I still had a few hours until I was to leave. And you can see all the minis are still up. So I let them know and they kicked it into high gear and as you can see here, an hour, 25 minutes left. They got the minis down, the boss was open, and there have been a few tries on the boss already. And I was actually getting ready to leave when one of my alliance mates asked if I wanted to, you know, have a last shot before I left, because I told him when I was leaving. 
And I said, all right, well, sure, you know. So that's what you're going to see here. Now, there are no attack bonus left. There's no attack bonus left on this boss. But we're pretty far ahead in this war. So the uh, word came down, just go ahead and go. So I said, all right, let's see what I can do. Now, you notice that he's doing a lot of damage. Look at that damage. Look at the block damage that he's doing to me. It's a lot. And that kind of caught me uh, by surprise. But part of that is his high, you know, attack, but also the uh, defense tactic siphon. So a lot of block penetration. All right. So you can see here, I'm trying to play keep away a little bit instead of uh, doing the parry, which he can't be parried anyway. So I'm just trying at this point to get to a special two. That is my goal. All right. So here we go. Got my special two. Whoa. And he resisted again. Oh, how much I hate that. And I always, always get caught up by that. So it didn't do as much damage as I wanted. And so I'm like, okay. And then I get hit by that. And I'm like, wow. Okay. So I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. And of course, I hit him with the green shield up. Got a shock on me. As long as I have the shock on me, he does a heavy. I'm stunned. Fight's over. All right. I knew that, but I also only had one charge left on Corvus. And I don't like long fights. And like I said, I was about to leave. So next up, I said, you know what? Omega Red only got one fight in for this entire war. And I brought him and I wanted to fight with him. So I did one heal. Again, we're well ahead. I wasn't about to heal up, boost up or anything like that. Just trying to get him down a little bit. No attack bonus, so there's no point in uh, boosting to the teeth or anything like that. All right, and you can see here, I'm just trying to go in, do as much damage as possible. And just look at this. He did, he did a little work considering um, how low health he was. And here we go. Got a little lifesteal in there. And then he just wrecked me. You know, it. I don't really know how to fight Doom. I need to learn. But it seems like everything I try to do, he's going to do something like that. He's going to either resist, backslap me into oblivion, or he's just going to counter me or something. Something he's going to do that I just can't do anything about. All right, so now I'm just throwing Proxima in here. I don't like Proxima. I don't like having to try and build her up. And I get caught. He intercepts me. And I'm just like, okay. And of course, that threw me off. And now I get the intercept. Sure. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when it was too late. But anyway, whittled her, uh, whittle him down. And now I can get into a little berserker frenzy. Fortunately, one of my alliance mates went in there because when stuff like that happens, I get into this, as I say, this berserker frenzy and I would revive and heal up and go after him and I would get him down, especially with no attack bonus left. I'd get him down. I actually got a field promotion one time in an alliance because of that tenacity, I guess you could call it. Uh, we were going up against, I think it was a juggernaut, and my uh, alliance leader was like, yeah, we just can't get him. And I actually revived and got him down, and he made me an officer. So anyway, we're pretty far ahead in this war at this point. So we'll be back. And we will find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.